one of the best value travel trailers for a family is right here. Feature packed folks, this is the 2022 Coleman Lantern LT 17B. The 17B, as I said, probably one of the best values in the travel trailer market, and why? Well, because this little guy is under 21 and a half foot. Again, you can sleep four to five people in here, and it is under 3,000 pounds dry, which means for a lot of families that have a mid-size to big SUV, you can tow this travel trailer. So if you're looking for something you can tow with the family driver, you don't wanna to have to go out and buy a truck, this is definitely one you want to consider. Now you'll be sleeping right up front, right up here. You can see there's plenty of space there for two people, a shelf up top for your clothes. You have TV hookup right on the ceiling if you want a TV in here. And you have the space right there. So if you have like a CPAP machine, you need to charge your cell phones, you can put it there. There's an electrical outlet right across the way. Now, not only do you have the shelf for your clothes, but you also get this foot locker. Take a look at that space, right? You have some excellent space right in there. And even if you want to put like a, like a laundry hamper or something like that in there, you have the space and ability to do that. As we come across to the off camp side, you'll see right here is your dinette. This is where you'll be sitting, eating meals. This also drops down to a bed and the table is removable. If you wanna take it out for whatever reason, you can, but you just fold the legs. It'll drop right down along those tabs. That will drop it down into a bed. You take the back cushions, put it on top. And again, uh, this is where you'll be able to sleep a fifth person. Now, you know, as a, a six foot adult like me, I'll have to curl up a little, a little bit, but if you have, you know, just another friend or something like that, you know, of the kids or a cousin or whatever, Again, at least it offers you that extra sleeping uh, position, which I like. And the window there to let in some natural light, you'll see storage up top, plus right here is your Boss Bluetooth stereo. Now, right up on the ceiling, uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, new for 2022 or if this is an option, I will have to check. But this one does have the 13.5K BTU AC. Uh, and that will do a wonderful job of keeping it cool in here, folks. I mean, that thing uh, is, is probably honestly oversized for this camper, but it will definitely keep you nice and cool, which is great. Taking a look underneath the kitchen countertop, you see something else I love. Now, this was something they changed from the first iteration, and I love that they did it, and that's that they gave you a spot for a trash can. Um, I think that's huge. For me, that is, uh, again, I, I hate having a bag hang out. If I can put my trash can right in there, even shoes, if you know, if you're, you don't want your trash in there, whatever it may be, but that is a great storage space. There's also an electrical outlet there, so that way you can put your coffee maker right here. Maybe you're not a coffee drinker, that's okay. You need a blender, juicer, or anything else, you have a convenient spot to plug it in. Plus, Good countertop prep space. I love having the prep space right over here. You still have enough room for your single bowl sink. It has the high rise faucet, make it a little bit easier to you know, wash your hands or dishes, or whatever else you need to wash in there. Plus the two burner cooktop right over to the side. Big window behind all that, letting in natural light and additional storage right up top. Now, if we drop down, you get a 30 inch fireplace there and that not only looks great, but that is what provides heat in this camper. Um, so, you know, if I wouldn't go camping in the middle of winter, but if you're doing, you know, like uh, spring, summer, fall, that guy right there is an electric space heater and it will heat this space up. Taking a look over to the side is your two full extension ball bearing drawers. So I love that they have two. I always say to make a functional kitchen, you have to have at least one drawer in an RV. Having two is of course just that much better. All right, let's check out the bunk space. So what I want to show is that, look at this. I can, at six foot tall, I can fully extend. 300 pound weight capacity on here, folks. So the thing I love about that is that makes this functional. Um, you know, I know that for a lot of people, the main reason you get this is camping and you know, you probably have kids, but you can also use this for an adult weekend if you want, you know, if you just have a couple friends that are coming to stand with you, if you want to, you know, take it out hunting, fishing, or, you know, just hitting up different wineries, you just need a, a home base, a place to stop and sleep. 
you can sleep adults on these bunks. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I love the versatility that you get with that. Oh, before we go in the bathroom, I do want to show you the uh, round out the rest of the kitchen. So you have your microwave right up top here and your 12 volt compressor driven ever chill refrigerator right underneath that. This bad boy will run off your batteries. Uh, and this is cool because if you have like two batteries and solar, you can run that thing almost indefinitely, which is great. Making your way into the bathroom. Take a seat right here. This of course is your toilet foot flush lever. And man oh man, do I have a ton of room in here, both for my knees and for my shoulders. I can kick back, relax, ah, take a nap. No, I don't know why you'd sleep on a toilet, Aaron. That's weird, but you do have uh, plenty of space, which is great. Cause a lot of times in smaller campers like this, you just get crammed in and that is not the case here. And then over to this side, uh, you know, if this one is a little bit different, if you're taller, you know, this one, you do have to bend down a little bit. Again, you can see at six foot, I have to bend here, even with my head up into the vent. Um, so this is one, you know, it's just kind of a, a quick, as my dad always called it, right? A military shower. You get in, you do your business, you get out. If you took longer than three minutes, you took too long, right? Uh, but that one right there is great uh, for, like I said, for quick things. It's not something you're gonna spend a ton of time in, but that's just like any RV, folks. You know, you have a smaller water heater, uh, but if you need to wash off, you have the ability to do it. But that wraps up the inside. Let's go take a look at the outside. And let's kick it off right up front. So you'll see your tongue jack here, of course, to crank your tongue up and down as well as level the camper front to back. Behind that will be your 20 pound propane tank and then rails right there for your battery. Now, inside I talked about a 12 volt fridge and solar. If you want solar, folks, you can see it is pre-wired. So right there, that is your uh, ZAMP solar. You can pop that off and then just buy the portable panels. At least I'm pretty sure it's ZAMP. Let me, let me verify. Yes, yep, it is. Um, so you can buy your ZAMP panels, plug it in right there, and you'll be good to go. That way it will trickle charge your battery and keep that topped off. So that way, uh, as I mentioned, you can run 12 volt, uh, anything 12 volt on this camper and really have no big issues. Coming down the side, you'll see your front storage compartment. Something else I love is that it is a magnetic catch. Why do I love that? Well, this is a family camper and you have no idea how many times I've seen it where it's a plastic clip and the little ones come up and they're like, bam! And then it rips the clip off, it breaks it, rips it out of the sidewall, it's just never good with a magnet. You don't have to worry about it, you're good to go. If you take a look at the space in there, you'll see it is pretty good space for the size of the RV as well. So I love, again, not only do you have that big um, foot locker in there, but you get some good exterior storage here. Uh, all of that's in something that's under 21 and a half foot. Right up top is the power awning. This is a 12 volt edge power awning. Touch a button, roll that guy out. Same thing to have her go right back in. Grab handle so you can nice and easily climb out in. You have the uh, one step, just folds out, super simple. Uh, one of the things you will notice to lock this door, you have this guy, it's kind of on an angle. Now this is one that you do wanna uh, try, try to watch out for. I have uh, seen some people that do bend these as well if you're not paying attention. But the reason they do that, folks, is this right here, so that if you're moving your awning in and out, you're not hitting your door. So uh, that's why they have that kind of the way that that one is. Uh, make your way down a little bit further. You'll see right here's electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in there. Uh, you have your easy lube axles, your water heaters right there, very accessible. Coming around to the back, square tubular bumpers there that does come with end caps. So if you want a place to store your sewer hose, that's a good spot for it. Also your stabilizer jacks, <coughs> you'll see those. <clears throat> those of course just will be manual, nice and easy to help set up though or rather nice and easy to set up to help prevent the RV from rocking as you're moving around inside of it. It also has backup camera prep. Now it's not the largest RV in the world, but it is still nice to have that visibility, right? Whether it's, you know, uh, 22 foot or 40 foot, it still helps be able to see behind you. So having that prep is nice. It will save you money if uh, you want that one installed. And then dropping right down here is your termination. You also see your black and gray tank valves and the handles are aptly colored. Black for black tank and you see your gray handle right there for your gray tank. 30 amp detachable power cord will plug right into there and last but not least you'll see right up here your fresh water inlet. Right below that is your city water inlet. Of course you have your stickers right here as I mentioned unloaded vehicle weight. Uh, this one as equipped is just over 3,000 pounds. 
your GVWR is 3850. So again, even if you load this thing up, you're still under 4,000 pounds, as I mentioned, making it very easily towable by a lot of your midsize and large SUVs. Now folks, if you love this thing and you wanna get your hands on it, I definitely, definitely recommend on clicking the link in the description because that will get you price and availability because these things are selling quick. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.